In today's episode of This Week in Formula 1, we're going to look at the news that the Dutch Grand Prix for 2020 has been confirmed and also the possibility of Formula 1 coming back to the continent of Africa. And also look at Max Verstappen's brilliant start to 2019. And guys, if you want to be up to date with these news stories, make sure to check out this video. So let's first start off with the big news that the Dutch Grand Prix for 2020 has been confirmed. We have been expecting this for quite some time because the Dutch fans have been longing for a Grand Prix for such a long time, ever since basically Max Verstappen came in to Formula 1 in 2015. So this news is not a surprise in any way, shape or form. And once the Dutch Grand Prix for 2020 was confirmed, this is what Chase Carey had to say. And what he said basically confirms why Formula 1 is back in Holland. He said, in recent years, we've seen a resurgence of interest in F1 in Holland, mainly due to the enthusiastic support for the talented Max Verstappen, as seen from the Sea of Orange at so many races. And let's be honest, guys, we knew that is why Formula One is back in Holland because of the immense support for Max Verstappen that he has had all across Europe, really, ever since he came into Formula One. So let's not kid ourselves as to why Formula One is coming back to Zandvoort. Now, of course, F1 does have its history at Zandvoort as the first Grand Prix at Zandvoort for Formula One was back in 1952. And the last Grand Prix was in 1985. And also, it was quite a mainstay on the Formula 1 calendar for quite a long time between 1952 and 1985. Now, in this video, I'm not going to get massively in-depth about how I feel about this news because I am going to do a separate video about the Dutch Grand Prix and why, for me, I don't think... In the long term, this Grand Prix is going to work. But in terms of the commercial side of Formula 1, it does make sense. And for the short term, at least, it will be a success. We don't know yet, by the way, if it's going to replace the Spanish Grand Prix at Barcelona. By my guess right now, I'd have to say it's not going to because the Spanish Grand Prix president of that Grand Prix came out and said that the Grand Prix is going to remain in Barcelona pretty much from 2020 on. So I don't think it will be replacing a Grand Prix, but it has at least been confirmed that the 2020 Dutch Grand Prix will be taking place in May of 2020. So to all my viewers and subscribers from Holland, great news, Formula One is back in your country and hopefully you can have a great time with it in 2020 if you can make it to Zandvoort in about a year's time and hopefully the racing there is better than I think it will be but as I said earlier I will do another video explaining why I don't think in the long term the Dutch Grand Prix is going to quite work out but for now great news for you people in Holland but now let's go on to news that Formula One is possibly going to be returning to the continent of Africa but they aren't going to be going back to South Africa for a Grand Prix, they are possibly going to Marrakesh in Morocco for a Grand Prix very, very soon. This news comes after it's been confirmed that Formula One has held talks with people in Morocco as to the possibility of a Grand Prix on the streets of Marrakesh. Now, don't think that Marrakesh does not have any history when it comes to motorsport as it does because they have held quite a few motorsport events in the past few years for example in the past few years they've had some touring car races and stuff like that and i believe formula e has recently raced in marrakesh as well so it's not like they don't have any history or heritage when it comes to motorsport but it's not as say historic as other countries out there in the world now initially my thoughts have not been that positive as to a grand prix on the streets of marrakesh in morocco but honestly I think we should go there to see whether we will have another good addition to the Formula 1 calendar because at the end of the day, we've never seen Formula 1 race around this track. So we can't say right now whether it will be a boring race. For example, plenty of people have come out and said 
about Vietnam at the, the you know the race that's coming up in Hanoi in 2020. Plenty of people have been saying that that race is not going to be good basically because it's another street track when we can't say that because we've never seen Formula One cars race around that track. And another example is Baku. Now, when it was announced that we were going to be racing in Baku, people were not that kind to that particular track in terms of whether it will produce good enough racing but by 2018 at the latest everyone loved that track and i know you guys in the comments are going to say well you know marrakesh it's going to be another boring street race and stuff like that i understand where you're coming from but at the end of the day similar to baku when it was announced we haven't seen formula one cars around this track so we can't quite say yet whether it will be a good thing or a bad thing because you never know. It could be a great track for Formula 1 or it could be terrible. We don't know because there is no previous history between Formula 1 and this street track. So right now I am kind of for it from the basis of let's go out there and see whether this is a good new addition to the Formula 1 calendar because... If you are going to find good, new, exciting racetracks, you've got to go out there and see where they are. Because you can't keep going back to the well of the same historic races for the best racetracks in the world. Sometimes you have to go to places where you don't think that place is going to produce good racing, but then it does. You've got to take risks like that, like Formula 1 took by going to Baku, and that risk, I think, has worked out. So for now, I am for Formula 1 racing in Marrakesh. Let me know in the comments, guys, whether you agree or disagree with what I have said when it comes to racing in Marrakesh in Morocco. Now, the final piece of news is to do with Max Verstappen and his fantastic start to 2019 and Christian Horner's comments as to how good he has been in 2019 as Christian Horner thinks that Max Verstappen has stepped it up a gear in 2019 compared to how he was in 2018. And this is the main part of what Horner was saying he said about Max Verstappen. He races so strongly, I think he has really shown his maturity and composure and his consistency in the car. And I think honestly, based on what we have seen with Max Verstappen so far in 2019, Horner is bang on the money with this one. Max Verstappen so far in 2019 after five races has been so, so good. And I think you could definitely make the argument that Max Verstappen has been the best driver out of anyone in 2019 because at every weekend he has got the best he could have got out of his Red Bull car has got certain results that were not expected and that were quite surprising compared to where you know the team were expecting with the certain car they had in terms of pace so max has been so so good this season and i think is probably the only driver in 2019 who has really no pun intended maxed out the amount of performance they can get out of their car and that is a stark contrast to the start of last year, 12 months ago, when Max was not getting the best out of his car and making so many critical errors. And I think, as I said back then, once Max Verstappen is given time to, you know, grow up and develop, he will become a superb driver like he is right now. And I think with Max, as he grows and develops, this type of performance you have seen so far in 2019 will become something that is a regular occurrence. Because when you're as young as Max Verstappen was at the start of 2018, you're going to make stupid errors like he did. But as he grows, that will definitely be cut out of his game. Now, of course, eventually in 2019, I'm sure Max Verstappen will have a qualifying session where he's not so good or a race where he's not so good. And there will be a point in 2019 where he does make a mistake. But with the way Max is right now, 
it does seem a lot less likely than it did a year ago because this time last year he was very hot-headed and was very rushed I think in his approach to racing but this year he seems to be as Christian Horner said he seems to be a lot more composed and mature when it comes to how he drives the car and how he gets the best out of himself and also his Red Bull car. And if Max Verstappen can keep up this type of pace and performance for the rest of 2019, with the Red Bull car and the Honda power unit improving as well, he will be pretty much nailed down to finishing P3 in the Drivers' Championship because I think he is a better driver than Sebastian Vettel and Charles Leclerc, and also the Red Bull car looks to be a bit better than the Ferrari, honestly, right now. And I definitely see 2019 being a good year for Max Verstappen's reputation going forward. But guys, that is it for this week in F1. Make sure in the comments section to let me know what you thought of my opinions on these certain news topics. And also, share your opinion on these certain stories. And also, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And also, hit the like button for more content like this as well. And until my next video, guys, it has been me. As for HD, goodbye.